Welcome to the Knox Video Training Series. In this video, we'll show you how to install and configure the Samsung Cloud Connector Service, or SCC, for Knox Manage. SCC lets you sync users and groups from your company's Active Directory server. Let's get started. To install SCC, you'll first need to have a machine running Windows Server 2012 R2 Standard or 2016 Standard, and a download for the Java Development Kit or JDK installer. In this example, we'll install version 1.8 underscore 191. Before you install the SCC client, you'll want to retrieve and save your tenant ID. You should see your tenant ID in the upper right portion of the Knox Manage console. Now let's download the SCC client. To download the SCC file, in the Knox Manage console, in the upper right of the screen, click the support icon. Then select the download option. In the pop-up, select the Cloud Connector and Remote Support tab. Then click the download button next to the Cloud Connector client. Next, you'll need to extract the zipped SCC installation package. In the file explorer, find the downloaded SCC client and extract its contents. When the extraction is complete, open the SCC folder and select the setup file. In the open file, scroll down to find the tenant ID variable. Then set tenant ID equal to your tenant ID and save the setup file. Next, let's install the Java Development Kit. In the File Explorer, locate your Java installer download. Double click the installer file and follow the directions. Installing the JDK automatically installs the JRE at the same time, so there's no need to install the JRE separately. Now, let's ensure the JRE security policy is set up correctly for cryptography. Open the JDK directory on your machine. This should be on the C drive under Program Files in the Java folder. Now open the JRE directory, click on Lib, then Security. Open the Java security file for editing and find the crypto policy line. Uncomment this line. If this line is not in the security file, make sure to add it. Note that depending on your Java version, setting up unlimited cryptography may be different. For more details, see the Knox Manage admin guide. Next, let's add Java to the system path variable. Open the environment variable dialog from Windows System Properties. Select the path variable, then click Edit to add the full path of the binary folder of your JDK installation to the path environment variable. Finally, let's install the Samsung Cloud Connector client. In the File Explorer, in the Extracted SCC Files directory, double-click the installation file. Choose a language, click OK, then click Next. On the License Agreement page, accept the terms and click Next. Then click Browse to find the path to your machine's Java instance. Click through the installation wizard until you reach the Tenant ID page. Confirm that the tenant ID matches your tenant ID retrieved from the Knox Manage portal, then click Install. Wait for the installation to complete, then click Finish. This completes the SCC client installation. To ensure that the SCC service was installed correctly, from the Windows menu, find and open the Service app. In the file list, look for Samsung SDS Cloud Connector. The status should say Running. This concludes the demo of how to install and configure Samsung Cloud Connector for Knox Manage. For more information on Knox Manage, visit www.samsungnox.com. Thanks for watching.